Hi, my Sagges. This is your daily tarot card reading. Please keep in mind that not everything I say is going to resonate with everyone, okay? So take what does and what doesn't. Please just throw it out. But let's go get into your daily predictions for today, your daily tarot card reading. Let's see. For my Sagges, Sun, Moon, Rising. Spirit is saying something about a laser. For someone, something about a laser. I don't know what that is. Laser and acupuncture for someone here. Okay. For Sag. For Sag. For Sag. For Sag. For Sag. Sagittarius. We have the Empress right here. Something about fixing something. We fix it. They're saying we fix it. I'm not going to try to, I'm not trying to scare you, but something about there could actually be an injury of some sort. There could actually be some type of injury of some sort. So be careful. Um, an injury through some physical activities. Um, if your child plays sports or if you play sports, you might be prone to an injury today. So really be careful and pay attention. That's the obstacle for today. Um, also getting broke my tooth. You might hear about someone breaking their tooth. That's awful. Um, okay. And also something about a four, they're playing that Aaliyah song, four page, uh, four page letter. I'm sending you a four page letter. You might be receiving a long letter of some sort. Or it could be like, it could be sad, some type of long letter from someone, um, a past love of some sort. It doesn't have to be romantic love. It could be just someone you may have been close to in the past of something. Um, someone sending you some long explanation of some, some kind. A long explanation of some kind. I'm getting a four-page letter. Is someone writing a four? Well, no, school's out. I don't think you would be writing a four-page essay. But a four-page letter. Okay. What's the outcome? We have the tower right here. Clarify the tower. There's some type of tower moment. And I'm seeing good tower moments, actually, technically. Let's see, what is this tower moment? <laughs> and I just said good tower moment, right? This is the eight of swords, but it's in reverse right here. There's some type of tower moment that relieves some type of anxiety. Or you felt like trapped. It reverses that. The bottom of the deck, the Ten of Pentacles, something's coming in. This is going to come as a shock. If you felt trapped, anxiety, um, sitting on this couch, like, what the hell is going on with my life? I can't take it anymore. <laughs> I know I'm being dramatic today, but that's what I'm getting. Like, this, look at this lady. Like, she looks like I, I cannot take it anymore. I've tried everything. There's books everywhere. Um, I don't even know, like, I don't even know. There's some type of tower moment that reverses that where you finally see that you have more options. I love that. Clarify the Empress, because I'm kind of curious to clarify the Empress. Clarify the Empress here. I'm also getting, somebody needs to water their plants. That's probably me, actually, because I don't, my tomato garden isn't, <laughs> isn't looking too good. Uh, uh, it's my first time gardening. I'm not really, I guess I don't really have much of a green thumb, but I'm learning. Okay. 
So what I'm getting, Sagittarius, is this is a really interesting energy. With the Empress and the Hermit, I'm getting also today that you guys are really honing in on some type of creativity. Um, you're kind of wanting to be by yourself and you're, you may be drawn to wanting to create something, doing something. I'm also getting books as well because books, 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 something to do with books, a lot for you to do today, Sag. I'm also getting something about a soccer ball for someone, um, a soccer ball. Something about a soccer ball. Sports, a soccer ball. Okay. Let's see what else is happening for my Sages today. For my Sages. We have happening now. Hmm. I'm going to pull a card on that. Happening now. Let's see what else? We have yoga. Some of you may be drawn to doing yoga, but I see relaxing. I feel like you're getting your rest and you're relaxing. You're taking a breath. A break. You're taking a break and you're taking a, like focusing on your breath, I wanted to say. That's for someone here, like centering yourself. Something's unfolding soon for you. Something's unfolding. We also have tools. I'm also getting gloves being very significant for someone. Gloves today. But I'm getting your abilities. Honing in on your abilities. I'm also getting organization. You being much more organized. But there could be a need for you to use some tools or something to do with tools today as well. Now, let me see what this means right here. What's happening now? Let's see. Happening now. What is happening and unfolding now? Pay attention. This is going to sound odd, but pay attention to angel number 641. 641. 641, these numbers. Mm. We have the King of Pentacles. Tell me more. Tell me more. Why? The King of Pentacles. Ooh. We have the Five of Pentacles in reverse. We all love the Five of Pentacles in reverse, don't we? Some of you expect some type of job change. A better paying job for someone here. A better paying job. Um, what I'm getting, okay, we have the Two of Swords, the Four of Wands right here, and we have the Hierophant. Okay, so this is basically telling me Expect to be in a much more financially stable situation. Expect to be in a very, a much more financially stable situation. Some of you, there might be like a tough choice or some type of agreement that's going to have to be made here. Maybe be signing something. That's probably why I was getting like a four page letter or something very long. You may be having to read through something and sign something, but it's going to put you in a better financial decision. I mean, um, situation. I'm also getting something about you needing to hang something. You might be hiring someone to hang something or you have to hang something or you want to hang something in your home. Something like that. Okay, let's go ahead and pull what Holy Spirit wants you to focus on today. This Holy Spirit wants you to focus on today. What do you want? They're saying, do you like what you see? Spirit is asking, do you like what you see? Interesting. Because don't rush. There's, I'm, I think you're going to be looking at something and Spirit wants you to... to Spirit is... Saying, do you like what you say you see? Don't rush. 
So don't rush to make a decision. Make sure what you see is really what you want before you purchase it or you go after it. Okay. So today Spirit wants you to love your single life. Your singleness is an opportunity to spend quality time with yourself. So even if you're in a relationship, basically this is saying spend time with yourself. Enjoy spending time with yourself. Spirit is also saying go barefooted for someone. Go barefooted. Also, your sacral chakra is out of balance. It's time to get your sacral chakra back in balance, okay? So look up ways to get your sacral chakra back in balance, this is the chakra of passion and get your get your passion back going. It's time to get your sacral chakra back in balance, okay? I feel like some of you need to Spirit is saying something about moving moving your hips. I feel like there's a cat here on here, but it's not. Something about moving your hips. I don't know why I'm getting that. Something about moving, moving your hips as well. Okay, let's go ahead and do your affirmations for today. What is your affirmation? What is Sagittarius's affirmation? Time to get that passion back going in your life, Sag. Okay. So your affirmation today, and I keep getting something about the body. I think as a collective, there's something going on with our bodies. I'm, this is not, I'm not trying to freak anybody out because Cancer is getting it, Virgo is getting it, and Sag is getting it. Body is on here again. Like if you watch Virgo's video and you watch um, Cancer's video, because I only do three, I'm mentioning the body, something about your body. Okay, a healthy body. It is prudent for you to keep your body healthy. There's something going on energetically. Please try to keep your body healthy. It says, I am so grateful for the loving, beautiful, healthy body I have that continues to get stronger every day. Something going on with the body, dude. I'm telling you, pay attention to your body. I kind of want to know what is going on with the body. Give me just a second, because this is kind of, Okay, we're talking about choices, making better choices. The lover's in reverse. Yeah, that's about a bad choice right here. Okay. And then we have the eight of chalices here. Okay, so they're, they're really emphasizing to stop making bad choices when it comes to your diet and the way you're living. It's very important right now. I don't know why I keep getting that, but I'm getting it. I'm getting it for Sag. I'm now I'm getting it for Sag. I was getting it for Virgo and I'm getting it for Cancer. Okay. So please make better choices when it comes to your money. I mean your 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 body. Also your money because there's a reason why I said money. Your body and your money, okay? All right, Sag. I hope you like this reading. If you did, hit the like button, hit subscribe if you really like it, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.